implied volatility is positively correlated with the option premium. What I mean by this is if everything in the market remains the same, but only if the implied volatility goes up, the call option premium would go up and also at the same time put option premium would go up. So I get a lot of questions saying that uh, how is that possible that you know if the implied volatility in the market goes up then why will call and put both will go up at the same time. So let me just demonstrate that for all of us. So for that let me just take you to calculator. Now in option calculator I am just calculating an option premium considering 10 percentage volatility that I just want to uh, calculate the option premium that if the future price is at 19654 3rd August expiry strike price 19650 evaluation date today which is I want to evaluate the option premium as of today's end of the day so it is saying me that the call would be somewhere around 102 rupees and the put option would be somewhere around 98 rupees now if you just see Vega okay so Vega is 10.5 for both of these options which is for call option and put option the Vega is 10.5 now what does this is trying to tell you this is trying to tell you that that if this volatility goes from 10 to 11 okay then this premium okay the call premium will go up by 10.05 rupees and the put option premium will also go up by 10.05 rupees so now you get the point why exactly the call and put premiums are correlated with the option premium and why if everything in the market remains the same but only if the implied volatility goes up still why the premiums might go up okay I, I am assuming that all the things in the market would remain the same now let's see let's try doing this then I am assuming that this premium should go somewhere around 103 rupees and this should go somewhere around 108 109 rupees okay so let's try calculating that so from volatility goes from 10 to 11 now see because of the Vega this went to 112 as we said and this went to 108 as we already discussed now, if you see Vega, if volatility goes up by, let's say, 1% more from here, goes to 12, then again, this premium went up by roughly around 10.5 uh, and this also went up by roughly 10.5. So, this is the reason why IVs are correlated with the option premium. And I, I uh, received one of your queries saying that, uh, you know, uh, how will exactly that happen? Then this is, this is the reason. The Vega is the reason why when the IV goes up, the call and put premiums are going up. Number one thing. Number two thing, I also got another query saying that how will that happen that IV or call and put both will go up at the same time? See, whenever IVs go up, the entire skew will go up. Okay. All the strikes will witness jump in IV. It, then it would not be the case key only this strike is witnessing jump in IV and the other one is going down. No, it is a single instrument that we are trading, right? All these are positively you know, correlated, not positively, but all these instruments are correlated with each other. So it won't happen that uh, 19,000 ka IV has went down and 19,100 ka IV has went up. Generally, for the strikes which are close by, you will not see, you know, a, a zigzag movement uh, happening in IV. It would be the entire skew will shift is what I mean. Similarly, if IV goes down from the current level, Vega will tell you that, okay, the option premium will go down. And see, nowhere in the entire video till now, I have changed the price. See, just observe the price as I'm keeping the, I'm doing the changes. See, when it is 9, it is at 92.8. So now that is the reason you would hear and you would also observe in the current market when the IVs are super low, you will get a very low premium to sell. You know, the premiums would be relatively cheaper. It is because of the implied volatility effect. Now, why we are understanding this? We are understanding this because the result season is underway, okay? And predicting implied volatility is slightly easier because the first thing is any major event will lead to a jump in implied volatility. A, be it stock result, be it union budget announcement, be it credit policy announcement, be it Fed's uh, announcement, be it anything, anything which might affect the market as a whole, the implied volatility will go up before that. Okay. Whenever there is increase in uncertainty in the market, the implied volatility goes up. Simple in, in simple words, implied volatility is uncertainty. So before any major event, the implied volatility goes up. Once the results are out, the implied volatility goes down. So let me just show you for uh, some of the IT stocks. So let's say in 
okay so now these dots this black circles are nothing but results that on this day infosys announced results on this day infosys announced its result on this day infosys announced its result now do you see a common trend over here before the dot appears that means before any major event the implied volatility keeps on going up before the major event the implied volatility keeps on going up over here as well the implied volatility kept on going up and once the results are out once the events are out the implied volatility collapsed okay so once the implied volat uh, once the uncertainty becomes known the implied volatility collapses now how i go ahead and trade this information number one over here i would create something like a long straddle that means uh, buying call and put at the same time so that if 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 nothing happens in the market but only if the iv goes up still that strategy would make sense so before any major event i would typically prefer uh, buying volatility strategies that means long straddles long, long strangle something like that and after the results are out i know one thing that the implied volatility would crush it will collapse so what i'll do i will create strategies such as uh, short iron butterfly short iron condor i will not sell naked because that comes with an undefined loss and also my return on investment it kind of goes down why it goes down it goes down because of simple reason the margin required for a naked selling is is very high compared to hedge selling so now whenever i do any strategy okay so i explained you when long straddle when uh, short volatility opportunities to, uh, can be actually uh, you know practiced in the market i would say any strategy that i am doing i will back test it on one or two years data minimum and i'll check that if that strategy has worked out pretty well so for that we have a very simple tool in the application so we have a couple of tools by the way one is back testing so back testing is simple that you simple you just give inputs to the app and just hit back test it will run a back test for you so over here you can do a uh, back testing based on various uh, types one is days to expiry which is standard how many days before uh, expiry you want to enter the, or exit the trade you can give inputs about that and it will back test result okay simple it is self explanatory it will back test any of our option strategy based on result i'm clicking on add leg so now the inputs are pretty simple if i go if i'm going with uh, add the money call i'll type zero add the money put i'll type zero okay one strike out of the money call option i will type positive one two strike out of the money call options i'll type positive two three strikes out of the money call option i'll type positive three in the money calls i will type minus one minus two minus three for in the money strike price call option now for put option put option in the money i will type positive one positive two positive three depending on how long i want to go in terms of strike selection for out of the money put options you you need to uh, listen to this again okay the inputs that i just explained for out of the money put option i will type positive my uh, negative one negative two okay and negative three and so on and so forth it's basically something like this okay this is how it will look like so to show you all quickly let's say <clears throat> this is how the strikes are aligned this is our atm okay call put this is zero okay this is also zero over here i will give positive inputs over here i will give negative inputs okay over here as well in the money call options i'll give negative inputs out of the money put options i'll give you know uh, negative inputs right so this is this is the picture what you should keep in mind and then the rest of the things would be simple now let's say i want to buy at the money call option uh, put option in this case and let's say i am selecting call option at the money click on add now i am i have defined system time pass result that i want to enter and exit based on result trade exit that means how much far away you want to enter how how many days before or after the result you want to enter is something what you need to give inputs about okay so let's say i want to enter the trade 6 days before the result that whenever infosys publishes its result 6 days before that i am going to buy at the money call and at the money put and then it is asking me exit that like when will you exit your trade so i am saying i will exit my trade 2 days before the result okay and then just hit back test
Okay, so this by the way works on end of the day uh, model wherein you can just come and simply backtest and you will get to see what strike price that you had picked up. When did you enter? When did you exit? And uh, you know the MTM of individual leg as well as the MTM of the entire strategy. And you will get to see all the legs over here, whatever you have created the trade in. Now coming to the other type of backtesting. So uh, backtesting tool is simple. You give inputs and you will get the uh, results for a very larger data within minutes. When you want to run backtest on a very bigger data, that is the time you will use backtesting elsewhere if you want to simulate. So this is what I generally use these days, which is trade recap. Let's go to trade recap, select the date. So let's say I want to select this date. Whatever date, you can create whatever your option strategy is. You can give inputs about that. So let's say I want to buy this strike price. Okay. And I want to buy it on 10 lots. Now I can give input about that strategy. At the same time, I can build multiple strategies at the same time. Let's say at the same time, I want to sell a put. I'm giving random inputs as of now. Okay. But let's say I want to sell put option as well at the same time. But a different strategy. Let's say strategy 2. Okay. Save. And just you can move it ahead by one hour, one minute or one day. So let's say I want to see what happened uh, if I would have been in these strategies for one hour. I can do that. Okay, you can do it on Nifty, Bank Nifty. You can adjust, act how you would have acted in the real life scenarios. This is very important for us to actually do because I believe whatever strategy we actually deploy, first try to feel how that strategy actually works in the market and then you know eventually it will give us a lot of confidence so over here you can not only just go back in time just create strategies and analyze them but you can analyze three four strategies at the same time and pick the best one give a very simple example let's say there is a particular scenario in the market now you want to see if long call works best bull call spread works best or a ratio spread works best now, it is a very tedious exercise to go one day behind again and again and again and keep on creating strategies over and over again. Instead of that, we can create three to four strategies at one go and just run the simulation in, you know, in next to no time. It will give us, it will take hardly a minute to actually do this. But doing this, backtesting is uh, very essential. Always try to backtest your option trading strategies. Use tool like trade recap to learn adjustments. And at the same time, these tools will build your confidence over your option trading strategy over the period of time. So do unlock backtesting and trade recap from the link in the description box below.